Hello YouTubers and fellow Star Citizens and Elite Dangerous and Flight Simulators. Today I'm going over a basic tutorial for CH Control Manager. Now the objective of today's Control Manager uh, demo is to teach you the basics of how the interface works as well as a little bit of the basic mapping and uh, how to load basically a profile that somebody else created uh, and then download it to the stick and, and get those features kind of well understood. Then I'll do an intermediate tutorial where we'll look at some of the more advanced uh, mapping options like how to set up multiple devices uh, and map those multiple devices um, you know as, as basically CM device 1, device 2, things of that nature which you will see in the Elite Dangerous script whenever I load it here in a minute. Uh, and then in an advanced tutorial we'll get into CMS scripting, uh, macro commands and things of that nature. Uh, probably I'll try to do one of these videos uh, each Saturday and, and release them. This one, because it's kind of 4th of July weekend and stuff, I'm releasing a little bit earlier. Um, but um, I don't know if I'll include this as part of the uh, way of the stick because that's more of how to use a joystick and HOTAS setup in more generic terms. Um, in fact, I'm sure that I'll be doing videos uh, with other sticks other than my CH gear, this is a specific tutorial on CH Control Manager. Okay, with that being said, let's just go over the basic UI. I mean, this program probably looks like it was written in Visual Basic 20 years ago. <laughs> Likely it was. Um, you have load that allow you to, you know, load a uh, previous map that you've created. Uh, save, clear profile. Uh, this is the wizard. We'll get into that in just a minute add a device, delete a device, control, CMS editing, script editor, download to stick. Key check, that's important to make sure that uh, macroed commands and things like that fire as you expect them to. Uh, test and calibrate, another very important uh, feature like my throttle, every time I unplug and, unplug and plug it back in I have to recalibrate the throttle, uh, else it doesn't zero out. And that's par for the course with any device, uh, learning how to test and calibrate. And it's also very useful to make sure that, uh, you know, a button is working and maybe you forgot to map it uh, or click save when you were mapping it in another game. Um, this lets you kind of get to know what CMS commands are being used. Now these are very three very important. Off basically disables the joystick. Direct mode would basically put everything into allowing direct X to figure out everything. This is the mode that I use for War Thunder, and then I map all of the controls within uh, War Thunder's mapping utility. Uh, likely, eventually, this will probably be the mode that I will use for mapping in Star Citizen, and then allow me, once we're allowed to actually do custom maps in Star Citizen Easy in, in custom keybinds. And then mapped mode means if you click this, download the stick, and uh, start up the game however your profile is in the .map file is how your stick will behave in game. Help files and what's this? What's this is very handy if you don't know what that is. Oh, this will open up the command finder dialog to find CMC commands that are currently in use. Then finally we have exit and then you have the profile you're editing and the last download to the stick. In this case it was the Elite Dangerous Unimatrix profile uh, or basically my custom mapping for Elite Dangerous. So today, in the very, very basics, let's look at um, creating a profile for a joystick. We will go into mapping, actually, let's go and do two. Let's look at combining all of these into a single map, and then um, also then look more into detail into mapping a single device. Easiest way is to do map wizard. You want to select the devices which you own. In my case, that's a fighter stick, pro throttle, and pro pedals. Okay. Combining the controllers, this is really depending on whether you're using a more modern game or an older game. An older game like Diaspora, for instance, you would definitely want to use this. Same thing with Independence War, um, X3, I go ahead and do it. So today we're going to combine all these controllers into one. When you do this, your computer will recognize everything as being one controller. And then you can set the maximum of axes. For exa example, Diaspora, I have to set this to four axes. Um, 
max number of buttons. I think for Diaspora it's 16, but today we're just going to say 8 axes, 32 buttons. Okay. Do you want to include a CMS capable uh, capability in this map? I always say yes to this, even if you do not use CMS scripting. Uh, if you don't select it now, you can't add it in later. So I always say, okay, let me have CMS controls in case I want to add in some customized scripting later on. Uh, you shall always have that option uh, to use that. You don't necessarily have to. Now it comes up with the fighter stick. As you press a button on the stick um, or the throttle, move whatever axes, it will bring up the device of whatever you just pressed so then you can figure out what you want. Um, I will not cover shift. Uh, that would be setting a key to act as your shift. So when you press it, you can then double up the number of commands. You can possibly have most games traditionally this button here is shift. But we'll cover that in intermediate and advanced tutorials. So you have buttons, you have device one, button one. Problem is, uh, well, you know, CMS device button one, button 23, uh, this really isn't, it, it's control type up down, which would be your up down arrow. Um, you can see button all the way to button 32. Nothing here is actually mapped on it by this default profile. Fighter stick, same way. Now let's say you wanted to load this profile into a game. You would accomplish this by going to download. It will compile the script, transferring the data, successful. So the map's now compiled. You go over here, make sure it is in mapped mode. So however you have things set up, you then go launch the game, and however you have things configured here is how they would behave in game. Now, let's look at rebinding some very simple DirectX binds. I'll give you an example. Um, we're going to go ahead and save this as, well, we're going to go ahead and save it as demo one. Save. Yes, replace it. So this is demo one. Checking for conflict, compiling, transferring data, download successful. So last download was demo one. But let's say for whatever reason that button eight here is previous target and button six here is next target, but you would like to have those reversed. Well, let's just go here and say, well, I want this to behave as button eight. Go back over to the left, button eight. I want to have this behave as button six. Save. Now whenever I go, you can see up here, this is the default control, hat one left, button eight, but it will register an input as button six. Okay, this is how I want everything to be working, so I'll go to download, checking conflict, compiling. Okay, we're in mapped mode, launch the game. Now whenever I press the left hat of, uh, or left button on hat number one, it will act as button number six in game. Uh, give you another example. Let's say for some reason this is default trigger. Uh, default is button four for um, launching flare. And for some reason in Star Citizen, I want to launch flares with my trigger. And then I want the button down here to be my fire my primary weapons. Okay, I don't know why you'd want to do that, but there we change those inputs. Download to stick. Download successful, mapped, go in there. Now this would launch flares. This would launch or fire my main guns. So that's the very, very basics. Now you can also set things up. Let's say I want this to be my G key to basically emulate hitting G on the keyboard. So I take it out of direct X mode. And now whenever I press it, it will basically input a G. We'll go ahead and save this. Download the stick, compile. Hopefully it's not going to create any errors. Nope, no errors. 
Now we go into games. Whenever I hit this button, it would be the same as pressing G on the keyboard. That's how you map uh, keybinds. And then there's a process you can go through to do, um, let's say unreleased, I want it to do HGG. That would be an example of a micro, uh, of a uh, macro. So whenever I press it, it does G. Whenever I release, it would hit H and then GG again. Why I wouldn't, I, I don't know. I'm just doing this as a quick demo. But you get there by right-clicking on the area, and it says record keystrokes. Um, and then you have the option. You can also just always just clear it. So that's basically the basics of CH Control Manager um, version 4.55. Um, I hope those of you who have purchased CH Gear who are new to using Control Manager, uh, that this helps you along the process. Uh, again, if you're completely clueless, my biggest suggestion is to, uh, oh, before we go, one more thing, and that's comment. Keyboard. The comments come in because then that'll tell you, you know, launch flare. Fire guns. Uh, target. Next target. I'm just setting this up to how whatever. And then there's a program that you download from CH as well that then whenever you save this profile it will then uh, create a printout of what you have everything mapped to and it, on the printout it will say um, not sure where not exactly sure where My documents. Dun, 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 documents. CH Control Manager. Maps. Oh. Default, that's where you should put your maps. Uh, I think I have it under My Game, CH Hotas. Print. Using the key, you can then print out a button like this. It will say, hey, select. These are what the maps are set to do. Um, and it will say Control map assignments when it was created uh, page one something or other um, so I downloaded Brennus's map for Elite Dangerous but it'll make this image that you can then print out on your computer or on your printer so then you have a reference map for how everything works so that kind of concludes the uh, basic tutorial, the basics of CH Control Manager. I hope those of you who have purchased CH Gear uh, find this explanation to be useful. Any things you have questions over in the next coming weeks, please include in the comments section and I will do a review before I do the next video and hopefully clarify anything uh, that wasn't really clarified here. Um, and uh, then get into how to do how to set up different modes how to do more in-depth programming of macros that'll be next week how to set up the shift what you would use shift for things of that nature and then finally in the advanced tutorial that's really going to be cms scripting so thank you very much and uh, as always subscribe to the channel if you find it useful uh, share um, tell your friends um, post it on reddit uh, various game forums uh, anywhere that may find this to be very, very useful. Again, thank you very much, and, uh, well, see you with my next video, which will probably be Way of the Stick Part 2. I'm still waiting for additional cameras to come in. Uh, I think they're on the slow boat from China, so um, I was hoping they'd be in this week, but they aren't. Um, so I'm not sure how or when the next Way of the Stick video will come out. But And at any rate, thank you very much, and see you next week.